One UI 5.0 Beta 1 has now arrived in a limited capacity, but you're probably wondering what's new. Well, here's every major new change function and feature in Samsung's early version of Android 13. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. One thing you might not actually notice right away is that the in-display fingerprint animation in One UI 5.0 Beta 1 has an incredibly slight change over One UI 4.1. Instead of the regular outward ripple that you see when unlocking, the ripple now has a faster swirl effect that emanates around as the ripple expands. It's very, very minor and it's almost invisible to most, but on lighter wallpapers, it is definitely more noticeable than it would be otherwise. And this is just merely a cosmetic alteration that you might notice or you might not notice right away when you unlock after installing this version of the beta. So while One UI doesn't technically follow Material U design guidelines all the way through, it does adopt many of the principles of Google's wallpaper led device theming system. The first One UI 5.0 beta has some extra tweaks to the wallpaper and style section with even further tonal options added to that color palette section. The swatch style picker is joined with a new basic colors tab that lets you choose from eight solo color presets and a further four dual tone options like you'll find on Pixel phones running that latest Android 13 release. Unlike on Pixel though, you're able to outright disable the dynamic color palette feature almost entirely if you do prefer default system settings. This will just revert everything to a standardized blue with apps following that stock tone and accenting color change. Google's Material U style permission request pop-ups are also now joined in One UI 5.0 Beta 1 with colored buttons and more obvious activation limits. This replaces that list style permission pop-up that you'll find in One UI 4.1 and older. The excellent stackable widget or smart widget function is getting even easier to manage in One UI 5.0 Beta 1 as you're actually able to create scrollable quick look widgets simply by long pressing atop any existing widget on your home screen. In One UI 4.1 and older, you actually needed to create a dedicated smart widget that can be edited in a similar manner. You can now also set widgets in a stack that you've also created to auto rotate depending on your Galaxy screen orientation. A long press followed by a tap of that edit stack function opens up a new menu to tune and toggle that will let you enable auto rotation for these widgets if you do like that option on your phone. There's quite a few call changes or phone changes in One UI 5.0 Beta 1. And the first of these is when an incoming call arrives and you are running an app in full screen, you'll actually see a new updated mini pop-up UI that includes more visual elements and a more obvious drop-down menu for quick actions like sending a text message. The answer and decline buttons are also now moved off to the side with no text labels and newly animated icons. The also on top of that, if you happen to have the S22 Ultra, when you're in a call, you can now have an option to quickly take notes by tapping that three dot upper right menu, and then you can add a note from here. Any notes that you do happen to take during a call are saved, noting the caller, but with no details on the time or date in which this has taken place. It's not clear though if this is a feature limited to devices supporting the S Pen, but it would make sense if that were the case. That's said, we are hoping to see this on more devices, and it's quite a nice feature all the same. You're also now able to fully customize the call background image on a contact by contact basis for the first time with the default Samsung Dialer app. You would need to head into contacts though to adjust this. Then within the overflow menu within the edit contact section, you can just select a video wallpaper from four presets or even add your own specific image, which means it's even easier to manage or know who you're calling or who's calling you at a moment's notice. One UI 5.0 Beta 1 also includes a number of camera changes, and one of these is the addition of watermarking. It remains a robust addition to Samsung's default camera app, and it, of course, makes it much easier to auto watermark images if you want to share them to social media or with your friends. This is the first time you've natively been able to do some or do so on Samsung phones. You can almost fully customize image watermarks as well with font and layout options, plus this mimics the multitude of Chinese smartphones out there, the ability to tag your specific Galaxy Model 2 if you're proud that you're using a specific Galaxy phone. On top of that, within the camera pro mode, there are some important usability additions in One UI 5.0 Beta 1. A histogram function has been added to help you manage light distribution within a scene or frame that your camera happens to be pointing at. 
a quick icon in the upper right now allows you to show or dismiss this directly from your viewfinder. And on top of that, each lens also now includes a small stashable info panel with some details about what shooting scenarios are best to utilize the focal length or lens in question. For novices, this might help improve their understanding of each lens while encouraging experimentation with the in-depth Samsung Pro mode. Samsung is also heavily tuning the quick settings panel in One UI 5.0 Beta 1 with a more pixel-like layout for incoming notifications. You'll notice straight away that there are much larger leftmost app icons, which will show just what app notification or what app a notification has come from. If you happen to get multiple notifications from the same application, then there'll be a small icon stack to indicate that more than one unread notification is waiting for you to open. Rounded M3 buttons for deeper notification settings and the quick clear function are also being used here with the quick settings panel fully expanded, making it a little bit easier to know if you're a novice, just what they do. And like on Pixel devices, there is an active apps option, but to access it, you'll need to tap that upper right kebab menu. This section simply shows you just what apps are running or using system resources in the background. You're then able to deactivate or stop these apps from running from this quick pop-up panel to quickly purge them from system memory and utilizing your system resources. Although a minor change in the grand scheme of things, if you head into the sound and vibration settings, there is a brand new revised version of the classic over the horizon ringtone from Samsung, and this was created by BTS member Suga. I think it's Suga, or it might be Sugar. Either way, it's a very nice little ringtone. You can have a little taste of it right now. Samsung has also added a number of changes to the settings menu, and the first of these is a brand new connected devices option. This is a dedicated section right towards the top of the settings menu that allows you to quickly manage every external connection that you might have on your phone or might have made with your device. This includes things like Samsung Dex, any previously connected earbuds, linked to Windows, plus much more. So it should make it a lot easier to manage those external devices that you have happened to connect. For whatever reason, One UI unceremoniously removed a multi-user mode in years prior, and it's felt like a glaring omission for Samsung phones for some time now. One UI 5.0 Beta 1 restores a guest mode function within the accounts and backup settings. And this allows you to set up multiple people on one device with unique applications and accounts, making it great for work and personal accounts and creating the separation between those if you prefer not to use the Knox function. That said, it's definitely a worthwhile re-addition to One UI 5.0. Samsung has of course added the emoji laden Android 13 Easter egg here in One UI 5.0, at least the first beta of it. This can be accessed by heading to settings, about phone, software information, and just tapping that Android version until it does appear. When you do see that Android 13 logo, you just need to adjust the clock time to one o'clock and you'll be greeted with a bubble heavy Easter egg. That's not too different from the Android 12 Easter egg, but long pressing to change those bubbles will now show random emoji. Unlike on Pixel phones though, the Samsung emoji style is favored here, which gives this Easter egg a slightly strange feel, but one that is catered towards Samsung and One UI. The advanced features section within settings includes the popular or at least interesting experimental labs section here. Samsung often adds a suite of early functions and in One UI 5.0 Beta 1, you're able to activate further multitasking gestures, which will definitely be of interest to people out there. From now, if you activate it, you can swipe down from the top corner of an application to quickly activate the pop-up mode or even a two finger swipe upwards from that bottom of your screen will quickly enter split screen mode. From here, a pop-up menu lets you quickly select the second app that you'll see within portrait mode or landscape mode from a mini app drawer. And it definitely saves a lot of time having to head into recent long press and go via that process. Samsung is also adding, or at least mimicking, the security hub that was recently added to Pixel devices. This new panel within settings will inform you if there are any security issues and changes that you can make to enhance your overall device safety. This also acts as a one-stop venue for all security and privacy related tuning on Galaxy devices. Again, meaning you don't have to delve into extra menus to get to that fine tuning privacy and safety, of course, security settings. The final change within the settings menu is a brand new about phone section. And this gives you a new image preview of your device 
like some other smartphone OEM software skins out there, and it shows the exact model that you have, including the correct color and the device itself with any accessories. It's not a major change, but it's a nice one all the same. One UI 5.0 Beta 1 now has the ability to extract text from images and even more places simply by long pressing on photos or text within text entry boxes. The gallery app also includes a quick detection small T icon that you can access to pull text from images if text is recognized. If you do happen to use the default Samsung keyboard as well, there's a new option to extract text, which will quickly launch the camera to pull text and enter straight into any text box or search box that you do happen to have. This does, it does mean though that you have to have camera access to do this, but it is a nice feature all the same. So Samsung has clearly added a number of quality of life additions there, no real major overhaul in One UI 5.0 Beta 1. These are gonna definitely be useful to Galaxy owners out there, but we wanna know what you think is the best new feature or if you've installed it on your own devices, let us know down in the comment sections below. But as always, until next time, I hope you enjoyed this deeper dive into the first Android 13 beta, the specific Samsung Galaxy devices. Until next time though, I will speak to you later.